So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you something which you can expect in almost every data analyst interview which is on Power BI. And that something is lookup value DAX function in Power BI. Okay? So let's proceed and see what all things can be asked from this or related to this. Okay? And before that, if you are new to the channel, watching the video first time on this channel, then do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming videos. Okay. Okay. So the first thing that can be asked from you on lookup value DAX function is how related and lookup value DAX functions are different from each other. So the first question that you can expect is this. Now how to answer this? So for related function, what you have to say that if you have two tables, suppose one is a dimension table and, and the other one is the fact table, there should be a relationship between dimension to fact table that is one to many. Okay. So that is the condition of using related function. One side is dimension, many side is fact. Okay. On the other hand, lookup value. For lookup value, it is not necessary that there should be a relationship between two tables that you are considering. Okay, so this is the main difference between these two. Now the next thing that can be asked to you is the practical usage of lookup function. Okay, so what scenario can be asked to you? I will discuss with you one scenario which can be easily asked or this type of scenario or something related to this can be easily asked in your data analyst power BI interviews. Okay, so what, what is that scenario? So as you can see on the screen, I have two tables here. Okay, one is the discount table and the other one is the product table. If I will sh show you the data view, so in the product table, I have three columns, product name, launch date, and the current price. In the product name, I have iPhone 11, 12, 13, and 14. There is their corresponding launch date and their current price as of now. Okay. So this is my product table. And in the discount table, we have a product name and the discount percentage that is there currently on those product items. Okay. So what you have observed here, we have a column called product name common to both the tables in product also we have a product name and in discount also we have a product name so keep this point in your mind okay so these are the two tables so what interview will say that you have a two you have two tables something like this product and discount okay they are not connected to each other right see there is no relationship between these two okay now in the product table in the product table if i want to have uh, suppose if I want to have discount percentage for each, I want to create a calculated column where, where I have to generate a discount percent column in this particular table, right? So that I can directly view what is the discount current discount percent for 11, 12, iPhone 11, 12 and 13 and 14. Okay. So how to generate that calculated column? Okay. When there is no relation between discount table and this product table. So this will be the scenario. Something like this will be shared to you and how to answer this so the same thing can be answered or done using lookup value dax function so you will say we can achieve this scenario using lookup value dax function and the interview will ask you how will you write the dax code for it so that is what we will see now we will write the dax code for it using a calculated column okay so let's create that calculated column okay and before that i will also show you the syntax of lookup value <clears throat> so this is the microsoft documentation for lookup value so what does it say? It says returns the value for the row that meets all criteria specified by one or more search conditions. Okay. This might not be very clear to you right now. Okay. And this is the syntax. Okay. Where it will contain result column name, search column name, search value. And these are other optional arguments. So we just have to focus on these three. Okay. Result column name, search column name and search value. <clears throat> by the syntax names, you will not be able to remember it. You have to remember it the way I will be explaining this. Okay. So this is just the syntax that I wanted to show you. Now let's go back to our problem. Okay. So let me create that calculated column and let us see how we can get that discount percent column that we have in the discount table. Okay. So I will name it as discount percent discount. Okay. Okay. Now we will make use of here lookup value tax function. So I will type the name lookup value. So this is my function. Remember the first argument will be the one that you're looking for. So what you're looking for, I'm looking for discount percent, which is there in discount table. So what I will write here, I will search for discount percent. 
so this is my discount percent column that is there so this will be my first argument the one which we are looking for okay and lookup value is something that is related to v lookup in excel so if you are familiar with v lookup then lookup value will be very much clear to you okay now let's see the second argument for this so my second argument will be the common column with which we can connect these two tables which are not connected directly right there is no relation between these two so we have to connect them virtually and how we can connect them virtually using the common column name and what was what is that common column name that is the product name so i will go for product name here okay so this is my second argument and the product name is there in the product uh, table also right so i will search for product name again okay so product name okay th so this is my product name okay i will close the bracket here okay so what we have done here first argument is the one which we were looking for the second argument and the third argument will be the ones through which we can connect those two tables like the common column okay so in this way you can remember this lookup value okay you don't have to mug up that uh, the ones which are written here right so result column name search column name search value you will be very much confused with, with these names so this is how you can remember this lookup value dax function and now let, let's see what does the result comes out to be so as you can see here we have got that discount percent column 20 15 10 5 let's verify it in the discount table so for iphone 11 it is 20 15 10 5 so the same thing we are getting in the product table 10 20 15 10 5 so this is how we can generate a calculated column even when we don't have a relation between two tables and this can be achieved using lookup value dax function okay so i hope you are clear with the explanation and you will be able to answer it if you will be asked in your power bi interviews okay so do share the videos to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you